Hi everyone. So a couple of weeks ago, I did a screencast that was aimed at developers that talked through uh, some query and loop stuff in WordPress. And it went down quite well. And so I thought I'd have another go at doing something for developers today. And at the end of the last developer screencast, I made reference to a little trick that I use for keeping my code tidy and understandable and maintainable. And today I'm going to dive into a bit of that for you. Uh, we'll have a quick look at a library that I use to do that and hopefully show you some tips and tricks for keeping your code for querying post types uh, nice and clean and simple and readable and maintainable. Before I begin, it's worth noting that my way of doing this isn't the only or the best way to do it. Some people don't like the static classes that I use in my PHP code and there are other and better methods of achieving the same kind of clarity in your code. But this is a method that I've developed and it happens to work quite well for me and so that's what I'm going to show you. I hope what you'll take away from this is not necessarily how to use my way of doing things but a more general appreciation of how techniques like this can make your code a little bit cleaner. So let's dive in and start by seeing what we have. I've done a little bit of basic setup to get us going. Um, we've got a WordPress development site here. It's running 2016 as a default theme and it's got some posts in from the last screencast that I did. So let's just ignore all of those for now. And I've actually created my own themes. So if we go into the dashboard here, you'll see I'm running demo theme and I've just created a child theme of 2016. So here's my child theme. If we open up styles, you'll see this is just a, a basic child theme. And I've created a few uh, files inside it. So I've got a template uh, functions.php here that's got the usual child theme stuff in. And there's some placeholders to hopefully remind me of stuff I want to talk about as I go along. And what I'm going to try and do is build a simple post type and a taxonomy and we will see how we can pull the information from those together in interesting ways using this coding style that I've developed. Now, just to look through here, the first thing I'm going to do, well, first thing that I have done is I've set up a little structure inside my theme where I've got a folder called lib, which is short for library, and that's where I store any uh, kind of included code, really. Some people would call this folder includes or something like that. And inside there, I've got a folder called types, which is where I store all the files related to my post types and taxonomies. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a copy of this library that I've developed and I'll provide a link to this. Uh, to do this from GitHub, let's go back to uh, the root of this and there's a clone or download button and I can just copy this go to my terminal where I'm inside my theme. So I'm inside the lib directory here. And I'm going to just do git clone on that URL. It copies everything down. I can now see that I've got what we call post types here. And inside there, I've got my Oikos post type lib file, which is the library that I'm going to be showing you and using. So I've got that, that's fantastic. What we need to do is include that and some other code in our theme, just so that we've got the libraries and code that we need to work with our post types, first of all. So back in my editor here, we're gonna to go to functions. And we're just gonna require these files. We only need them once or require them once. The first thing we'll do is we'll include this post type library here. So that's the PHP file with the, the helper code in that I've created. And then I've also got a thing called uh, load post types here, which is just some code which will uh, load in any files in the type directory that look like post type something.php. Um, so I can create as many post types as I like and just call them post type blah.php and they'll get loaded without me having to, to think too hard about that. But I do need to include that file This should be once, of course, up here. So include load post types, and that'll pull any in any post types uh, that uh, I want from their respective files. 
So that's one handy little trick is, is for loading that. Some people will find ways to use clever auto loaders to do this kind of thing. This is a slightly simpler mechanism for doing it that hopefully you can dig into and make a bit of sense of. I've also then created a post type and a taxonomy. So let's open the post type file. This has just got some boilerplate uh, post type creation code and I've created a country post type here. Uh, so most of this is just boilerplate stuff. And I've then also required a taxonomy file in here. So this post type has a taxonomy associated with it. And I've pulled in the taxonomy that also just contains pure boilerplate code. Um, that's just from a generator that I've used. I haven't written that myself. I just copied and pasted it from the generator. And that taxonomy, let's just open it again. That taxonomy is called continent. Um, so we'll see that we will have countries and they will be assigned to continents. So first things first, let's just check that all of that works. Let's go to our dashboard here and uh, refresh. Okay, there's our country's post type and we've got a continent taxonomy within it. Now, I've actually been playing with this already, so I have the list of continents set up all ready to go and I've even created a couple of countries so that we can see what happens as we go along. Back in my editor, I also have a single country template and that single country file just has a basic WordPress loop which outputs uh, the title in an h1 tag and that's all currently that we do. So what might it be interesting to do here? It might be interesting to show which continent a given country is in. So let's just create a paragraph tag here and we're wondering what goes in here and normally you would do some kind of query in here probably um, or you would run get the terms, I think is the uh, is the function. We run get the terms. We'd pass it the ID of the post we're currently looking at, and we pass it the name of the taxonomy. We need to do something with those terms. So to start with, let's just var dump them. Well, at least let us see what we've got. And now if we switch back here, and if we go and look at United Kingdom and view that, there we go, you can see we've got a uh, an array here, which is one WP term object, and it's the term Europe. So that's fantastic. So what we could now do is switch back to our code, and we could do, just keep it nice and tidy. So we get the list of continents here, and then we can, current if you don't know gets the first item from an array great so all we did here was we got the first item from the array of continents we're assuming that there's only one and we've just echoed its name out so that's fantastic uh, what would be much better is if there was a simpler piece of code where we could just say echo uh, the continent or something like that that would be fantastic or I guess in WordPress the WordPress way we get the continent or we could just have a the continent template tag so that's the ideal that would be a much better way and that way we could retrieve the continent without worrying if the continent was a taxonomy or if it was a piece of metadata and behind the scenes we could change between metadata and taxonomies without actually affecting our template code so how do we go about doing that using this library that I've developed. Well, let's switch back to our post type countries here. Uh, and actually let's open up this library because it gives us a bit of a hint of what things look like. So this library that I've created gives you a, uh, we're in object oriented land now. So I've assumed a tiny bit of object oriented knowledge here. So we've got a class called Oikos post type template. And this has a, a static variable called post type and it then has some functions and these functions all call basically return calls to other functions which are defined up above um, and these do things like get which gets a single post from the post type with a given id we can get all which will get all items from that post type in alphabetical order we can do get recent which gets a number of items from the post type in uh, the order of most recent um, we can get a list which gets you an array of ID to name of the items in the post type. And then there's a couple of other things like get post by meta or get post by meta query. 
So if we create uh, an extension of this class for our given post type and set this post type variable in our extended copy of the class, then we can start to use all of these with our post type. And there should be some code up in my comments here that show you exactly what you need to do. If I go right to the top, uh, basically you start this by grabbing this bit of code here, hopefully well documented, and then we post this in here. And what this does is this creates a new class and we'll name it after our post type. So we now have a class called country that extends the post type template class. And we're going to set this to the actual kind of slug or name of our class, which is country. So now just to test that, I'm going to go back to my single country file here and we'll uh, comment this out for now, but come back to it later on. Um, but what we can now do is we can do country colon colon. So colon colon is the way that you access a method within a static class. So country colon colon get, and if we had the ID of a country, we could do that. So let's go back to our dashboard. France is ID 46. So I can just do that and then I can echo Great. Let's go and view the United Kingdom and it's correctly there printed France, which is the post title of the France object. So this has actually got us this thing uh, here and uh, assigned it to a variable France. We've actually gone and got uh, this country, assigned it to this variable and then we've printed its post title. Um, so that's kind of pretty neat. Uh, we can start to see how this looks a bit cleaner than doing a get posts or um, running an inner loop. This actually has a bit of meaning. It's actually saying go and get country number 46 um, and that's a bit cleaner and nicer. Uh, so what we can actually do is we can do this with the other methods in the class. So we can get all of the countries. Just tidy it up a bit by putting a line break in. Hopefully this will work. Great, so we're now getting all of the list of countries and we're printing out the names of all of them. And rather than doing a query, we've done country get all, which is a little bit more semantic. It has some more meaning. So you can start to see how you can use these to uh, grab uh, posts of a given post type and actually have some meaning in your code and uh, keep things a bit tidy. But the thing that we wanted to do is we wanted to display uh, the continent that's associated with a given country. So how would we go about doing that? Well, the ideal would be to have uh, something like echo country colon colon get continent, for example, and pass that. So go get the continent for the current country and echo that out. So how do we do that? Well, we go back to our class. I'm going to grab this line here into my clipboard and we'll delete that line. Okay, so we want to create a method called get continent. Let's go back to our post type here and look in our extended class. And what we can now do is we can now create a static function get continent that takes a country ID and we will return this. In fact, that will return multiple terms. So what we'll do is we will do that. So that will get any continents and we're gonna assume there's one and return the first one. So we will return the current value from the continents array. Great, let's go check our template does that. Echo country get continent. Let's just to make sure we're looking at the right thing. So let's just uh, have a look at that. And hopefully this will uh, still print the continent of Europe at the end of our template. Ah, oh, we have a fatal error, interesting. Ah, oh, that's because 
uh, we need to return, we're returning a term object and what we want to return is uh, the name of the continent. Possibly we should call this get continent name or something, but we'll leave it as it is for now. Great, we saved that. And let's give that another go. Things always go wrong at some point. There we go. So we now have Europe being printed out. So again, rather than including some reference to terms in our code, we've now got some code that says echo the continent for this country. And it's just, it's a bit more readable and it gives us a little bit of a higher level of abstraction. And just to point out another thing that you might want to do with this kind of system um, is you might want to have say featured countries appear in a widget or on a page somewhere. So you might have a piece of metadata associated with countries. And so you might want to have something like, um, let's go down under this paragraph. So say you wanted to create a list of and these don't have to be countries, these can be posts or uh, any items that you like really. Um, so we can have featured countries and then we'll create an unordered list. And in here we would want to do something like something like that. And that's perfectly good to do as well. How do we implement that? Well, over in our static class that we created, um, we would create a function and let's say that featured here is a, a piece of metadata that's set to one. Um, we actually have some functions in the library for querying meta. I don't know if you remember seeing those, but we can do get post by meta and we can pass it a meta key and a meta value. And most some of these things will also take options, which are just options that you can pass to WP query. So I can change the number of posts being returned or add on additional bits of query information like pagination should I need to. Uh, so we're going to use get post by meta. And the way that we will call that is we want to do call a, a function in the parent class. So I'll need to do parent colon colon get posts by meta and we'll pass that a key which could be featured and a value which could be one and uh, I don't have that metadata set up here, but you can kind of get the idea of how that works. Uh, I want to return this list that gets returned here. Um, so I'm kind of going to leave it there. Hopefully that's given you a flavor of how this little library that I've created um, can help you write code, which looks a little bit more succinct and avoids writing huge things like uh, new WP query with all sorts of brackets and brackets and meta queries and whatever the things are in here. Um, this, this can be quite a, a big mess of stuff. Um, I personally think it's much cleaner to do something like country get featured. Uh, it's more meaningful and it hides the complexity of that code away in uh, the, the post types details over here. And it also allows you to modify the details of the implementation should you need to in future. And it allows you to reuse this code. So if I want to get featured countries, I can get them here or I can get them anywhere within my theme or if I'm building a plugin within the plugin as well. So hopefully this has been useful for you and we'll see you back here soon again.